it's Miss Niambiayana back with another video. Okay, so I know that a lot of you are young adults that are super excited to start your journey of finding your first apartment and living by yourself, which is an amazing accomplishment. But you might also have some hesitation and fear around the new experience of living alone, which I completely understand because I was there, especially after my first attempt of trying to get in a, in <laughs> my first experience of trying to get an apartment and I was ultimately robbed within a few days. <laughs> but when I decided to make a search for this current apartment, I had a few things on my radar that I really wanted to take into consideration so that I could eliminate some of my fear when getting my new space. So if you guys are interested in hearing how to counterbalance any fear of getting your own apartment, then let's get right into this. During my search, I knew that my personal priority was to find a space that was relatively on the smaller side, even though I was considering a two bedroom, but I am very glad that I have the space that I do now. It's not too big, not too small. It's between 700 and 750 square feet, I believe. So it's a nice space. I feel like I can separate my business area from my relaxed area and it's wonderful. And I have very sensitive ears. I can hear the smallest of things which is an advantage and also kind of annoying at times. So if you are kind of sensitive to sound or feel a little paranoid when you hear certain things, that's just something to consider. And a smaller space will actually benefit you because you know where everything is, you can see a lot of things, and it just allows you to feel a lot more comfortable in your space. From my story time videos about being robbed in my first official apartment, it's kind of evident that I didn't really take into consideration the environment around me and the ambiance because if I did, I most likely would not have been in that situation at all. I was more so focused on being an independent, having my own space, and also it was a very affordable unit. So I did a pros and cons list, and at the time, I felt like I could overlook everything else because the price was great. I, would, I could just convince myself that everything was okay. But after my experience, I know that my safety is just number one priority so i would rather spend a little bit more in a prime environment and location opposed to paying less and potentially being robbed again the last and common thing is wondering if you can afford getting an apartment in general finances are a big part of getting your own space especially as an individual you're not splitting bills and the cost of everyday living so it's very easy to stress yourself out about money even though you don't have to because you might actually have a little bit more money than you think you do and i will be covering some videos about money management later on so make sure you are subscribed with the bell notification on so that is all for my kind of listing on how I was able to counterbalance any fear about moving into an apartment. And if any of you would like any further individual guidance, make sure to click the link down below and schedule your lifestyle consultation. We can talk about steps that you should take to find the best apartment for you or even learning how to manage your money a little bit better so that you can have some wiggle room when renting. There are endless possibilities and endless topics to talk about, but as a coach, I am here just for you. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below and make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification next to it so that you won't miss any of my videos ever. 
All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.